Okay, so here I am back on this machine. This is the machine that I gathered the device ID for. Uh, we have already added that device ID right here in the autopilot. Okay, we've created a group for our autopilot and we've also created a deployment profile, an out-of-box experience deployment profile. So if we go and we look back here on enroll devices and deployment profiles, we have our deployment profile right here. So now what I'm going to do on this machine is I am going to right click the start button, click run, and I'm going to type sysprep. This is going to trigger this machine to go into the out-of-box experience. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, click OK. And we're going to trigger this to happen. Now keep in mind if this was a new machine that you just bought and you just plugged it in, this new machine would already be set to the out-of-box experience. So it could just be plugged in, booted up, and it should work. So let's go ahead and click OK. Okay, so this is just right in the middle of this machine going through the, the process of uh, the sysprep and the reboot. And i just check it in. I'm going to pause the recording while this loads through. Okay, so I want you to notice that uh, it says, Welcome to Exam Lab Practice. So there's our little uh, banner uh, sign-in text. And I'm going to go ahead and put in my credentials here. All right, so it should be uh, able to authenticate. And uh, I will go ahead and pause the recording while this is processing. Okay, now notice that um, it is showing some progress. It's showing the device preparation, device setup, and account setup. So we will uh, just wanted to show you this progress. And of course, this, this process obviously does take some time, and I'm kind of speeding through, pausing the recording and all of that so that you're not having to wait. But just know that this does take some time. All right, so the next thing it says after it runs through the three sections, you'll notice it says this may take a few minutes. It says don't turn off the PC, so this is the next little step that's happening. All right, and so I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording and let this process through. Okay, so here I am on the log on screen. My resolution is a little bit small, but I'm going to go ahead now and uh, authenticate, putting in my credentials, and um, let it let that process through here. But the machine has been reset, um, and everything did work as it was supposed to. So we've now got this machine set up and linked with the help of, uh, of uh, Autopilot, and the device should be showing up inside of uh, Intune. Something else I can do is go here to Settings and... Once I get into settings, I'll just go right here and just search for the word work. All right, this lets me basically find the workplace or school or access work or school. So I'll click on that. All right, you can see that it is connected to exam lab practice. Now, I will tell you that I did not, when I was setting up the deployment profile, I did not tell it to join the domain. So currently, it is not jo uh, joined to my Microsoft Active Directory domain. But I don't really need that right now. All I wanted was for it to be joined to Azure Active Directory, and that's kind of what I wanted out of this uh, demonstration. So we are good to go on that. Jumping back into endpoint.microsoft.com now, I just wanted to show you a couple things. First off, if I click on Devices and I go to Windows, you can see that my new device has been added. This is an older device. Don't worry about that. This is my new device. I haven't done any kind of compliance checking on it, so you'll see it. You'll see it is not. Uh, evaluated, but it is showing up, this uh, NYC client 11B, which is what I named it. Uh, and if I jump back over to devices again, and I go to enroll devices, and I look at right here where it says autopilot deployment program, go to devices there. Okay, you'll, you'll see that the um, uh, device ID says assigned now as the status, right? So that that is uh, doing exactly what we expected it to. And if I come back over here to Enroll Devices Deployment Profiles, I can also see that this is the assigned deployment profile, and I can even see the assigned devices that it's associated with, which is that serial number there. Okay. All right. So 
that hopefully now helps you with a good have a good understanding of this whole process with um, setting up the uh, autopilot and going through the, the visualization of um, the actual profile being deployed to a machine. Hey, this is John Christopher. I hope you enjoyed getting to experience a little bit of this course, and I hope you'll join me on the full adventure. If you'll check the description of this video, you'll see a link that'll show you how you can get access to the full course. Now, in the full course, you're going to learn how to set up a practice environment where you can practice hands-on, and I'm going to provide you with lots of virtual simulations that you can do 24-7. All you need is a web browser. So I hope you'll join me, and uh, I hope you'll also give me a like and subscribe. I'm trying very, very hard to get the uh, this channel to build and grow, and uh, so I hope you'll take the time to do that.